Hello, this is part two of who runs this place, political uh, ring constitutions or versus uh, politi political conventions and steering groups. Which is the most significant thing in running our, uh, the, uh, the UK, the um, EU and the US? Well, and generally most, most powers. Now, as I was saying about the uh, US Constitution, the US Constitution came about through several revolutions. Now, the first one was the Glorious Revolution, and then the, the, the second was the um, English War, uh, the English Civil War, okay? Um, although you can also say that this is a, was the English Civil War of Independence, if you like. Uh, because it finally put to an end the the so-called Norman yoke um, in the minds of the English people, whether it, that is the case today or not. But in the minds of the English people, it put to, to end that issue of uh, essentially foreign kings ruling the country. Um, although, of course, um, after this after this war, there was the Georgians who came from. Uh, Germany, but basically the the um, the ki the kings were and queens after that were um, bound by the English constitution. Now, people say the um, U.S. constitution is complex or the European constitution is complex. Well, you should try reading the U U.K. constitution or the English constitution because that is every case and statute that Parliament has, has made. That is living law, if you like. Now, the third and fourth revolutions was the American War of Independence and the French Revolution. Now, these made some key, con these made some key developments. The English, revo the English um, Revolution, the English... Uh, war of um, civil war made that the king was not the mouthpiece of all law. The king, in fact, could be tried, um, but this was still based on a political convention. Although statute law could now be written down from the fact that people or some people were still uh, were being elected and eventually more and more and more people within the English nation were able to vote it still took another 300 years for that to happen um, and arguably still some people within England are still uh, excluded from voting and there are still people in America who are excluded from voting in both cases because of fraud or manipulation of the electoral system uh, by political parties and organised crime and terrorism and different different um, different groups and powerful business groups that are seeking to uh, change change the uh, the way things work. Um, but uh, the the American Revolution took on board these ideas and also they took on board ideas from people called the levelers uh, although they preferred to be called the diggers um, the levelers basically wrote what became the american constitution and this influenced the ideas of thomas paine and thomas jefferson now they wrote into the american constitution those ideas the idea of liberty and equality Although Jefferson stressed liberty over equality because he believed in an agrarian um, aristocracy, aristocracy, one that was, wasn't was de detached from the people. They did the jobs that the same that the people did, but they were on a higher intellectual level than the people. That, that's basically his idea. So he still believed in, um, in uh, equality in the law, which the English Civil War established. Um, and he, he believed um, that uh, there, there shouldn't, shouldn't be too great a difference between people economically, but he still did not believe in economic equality. Now, 
the um, Thomas Paine went to France and the American Revolution should be more stressed as more significant than the French Revolution. The Americans showed the French what what happens to to tyrannous regimes and when uh, the the populace can read and write. This is a very important thing because the ability to read and write and to understand means that you have are are, um, are able to understand what a constitution is. Therefore, they made the U.S. Constitution rather simple and rather understandable. They didn't add a tremendous amount of laws to it. They just added what was necessary, and that's sort of the beauty of the U.S. Constitution. But I was explaining my in the talk after this in part three why that didn't why that didn't um, work completely well although there are some brilliant ideas in it and why people started to add on amendments um, for different reasons and some of those reasons weren't necessarily because they were thinking of the public good okay um, now the the French Revolution which T Thomas Paine helped start as well um, descended into uh, a, a kind of um, almost religious mania the the terror um, the great terror but the responding terror from the aristocracy in revenge was even greater so the, these these revolutions of the French Revolution were based on revenge against the um, aristocracy who said that people should uh, learn to eat grass because they were less worthy than animals these these sort of things and of course Marie Antoinette said let them eat cake this was how divorced they were from reality um, but Thomas Paine tried to get through the uh, French Revolution the concept of equality economic equality and um, we still really haven't reached that if you look at the fact that the people who are, are really in charge of things are earning billions and billions of, of pounds a year, well, then the really the middle income people are on hundreds of millions of pounds or twenty million pounds a year. It just shows how low the wages are and how um, the structure of society really hasn't change that greatly um, now of course the, the communists tried to uh, create equality in their system and it didn't work either uh, so this is very difficult to get equality um, but the um, these these different conventions of, of, of these different ideas have been moulded into different constitutions and of course the European constitution has gone further than the American constitution in trying to build in more equality, economic equality also specific rights for women because women only women give birth of course um, that different in maternity rights other things and regulations to, to prevent um, economic abuse by banks by businesses they've also tried to um, prevent organized crime now I'm not saying there's not corruption within the EU itself there is and I shall get onto that in part three uh, 